Now it's time to talk about protection features. We're going to create our table, comma, fallback that says, listen, when you lay the data out for this table, I want you to make a duplicate copy of each row and I want you to put it on another amp in case it goes down. So you are doubling the data, but if an amp goes down, you are fully protected. If you just create a table and don't mention with fallback or with no fallback, the default's going to be today with no fallback. But if you want to specify it, here you go. Create the table, table name, comma, no fallback, no doubt this time. Here I'm creating my table, but I'm also adding a before journal. What that says is anytime the rows change in any way with an insert, an update, or a delete. You take a before picture of that row and you save it to the journal area so I can put it out to tape and have that transaction backed up. Here I have asked for a dual before journal which says Listen, every time there's an insert, update, delete, anything happens in a transaction, take a before picture of that. And I'm a little paranoid these days. Put them on two separate amps in case there's some real disaster that happens so I can back this up. And there's almost zero chance I could lose that because that could be a million dollar order. In this case, I'm asking for an after journal. These are permanent journals before after those are permanent journals. So anytime there's a transaction, an insert, an update, a delete, I want you to take a picture after the row has been inserted, updated, or, or deleted, and you save it to that permanent journal area. We'll back that up and we will use this as part of our backup solution. Here is a dual after journal. Let's take a picture after any row changes, insert, update, or delete. Let's save it to that journal area and let's save two of those because I'm really paranoid these days. You know, anything could happen. I think the roof's falling in. Here I just mentioned the word journal. And what that means is any insert, update, or delete, you take a before picture and then you take an after picture once the change happens and you store that to the permanent journal area. Here's another way to get both a before journal and an after journal. Now a before journal takes a picture before the row changes and stores it permanently. In case you have a programming error or a logic error, hey programmers give everybody a 10% raise and they give everybody a 100% raise. We would be able to take the before journals at a certain point in time and bring those back to change things back to the way they were before that error happened. An after journal will take a picture after a row has changed and it will be stored permanently. So this is used as part of your backup strategy. Let's get a full system backup and then anytime something changes we'll take an after picture each day and record those daily tapes so halfway through the month if the system goes corrupt, we'll just do the full system backup to January 1st and then we'll take 15 daily transaction tapes and bring those back of what happened after things changed and that's the backup strategy used. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.